evening from Costa Brava, Spain. I am currently on assignment with my friend Rui Dantes, Portuguese from Madeira. From Madeira, probably <laughs> from Madeira. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but I yeah. think I got it. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do an interview. It's the perfect time because we're working together right now to share his story with you and to get an idea of what life is like as a travel videographer in Rui's perspective. So yeah. are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, let's go. Let's go. So we're back. Uh, Rui here is on assignment uh, with me in Costa Brava. We've got uh, four or five days in total, and yeah. we've just done the first full day, which is pretty intense. And I am very lucky on this assignment because I am not the main DOP or even camera operator. That is yeah. all this man's job. I'm actually the talent on this shoot, which is another story altogether. But it actually feels really good because it's the first job in like two years that I am not the camera operator. And seeing Rui work has been really cool for me. Uh, it's only the first day, but I think I've already seen a lot of similarities and a lot of differences in our style. And this is just the perfect chance to ask you a little bit about how you became a travel videographer and your work like currently. So yeah. to begin, tell us your story. Yeah, I didn't start in a film school. I didn't went to film school. I, my background is health and safety. Okay. So it's completely like yeah. different. <laughs> and then I took a year off from that, uh, did some acting for a year. And then I met, I met a friend and over some beers and he told me, okay, let's do a short film. After the hangover passed, <laughs> he said, okay, let's do the short film. The next day. The next day. Well, still, the conversation, let's do the short yeah, film. Yeah, right, right, right. I said, mm, seriously, you want to go forward with that? Yeah, let's do it. I did a small script. We presented to a, a film, uh, film company okay. and we did the film. Uh, it was eight, nine years ago. How long was the film? Uh, 16 minutes minutes okay. yeah. yeah and the first festival that we did it was the short film corner in Cannes so I'm the youngest guy from Madeira at the age of 21 22 uh -huh. um, being there to go to the Cannes Film Festival yeah being there wow. <laughs> so you went from a, a drunk conversation yeah. to making this film to then taking it to Cannes yeah Man. <laughs> uh, after that, I automatically start as an editor on that company. It's called Die For Films. Okay, so that was the first sort of jump into yeah. creating filmmaking, yeah. and well, then you started editing. Yeah. Okay. I just went straight to the to Final Cut. Right. So, so you still using? So the, yeah, Rui edits with Final Cut Pro. Yeah. And I edit with Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, and we can still learn a ton about editing, but that's, um, yeah, something else. That's another, another episode. <laughs> so many little stories within the bigger story. Okay, so once you became an editor... An editor on that company, uh -huh. uh, I was, like, for four years uh, an editor there, and then I went to, to the right director mm -hmm. of the company, left at the age of 25, opened my own company, taking care of business, doing the filming, editing, and next day repeating, or uh, next month repeating yeah. everything. I think a lot of the people watching this yeah. know how that feels because they are video producers as well yeah. and travel photographers. And at this stage in small business life, it really is sort of a woman show, you're doing your accounting, whatever. So is that still part of your, your filmmaking and your video production? Like two years ago, three years ago, I met a guy called Cash Budgetarian. He's a uh, budget traveler. Shout out to Cash, he's a friend of mine, and that's how I actually know Rui. I met Rui yeah. about two and a half years ago through Cash. I don't think he's watching this, but if you are, <laughs> you're awesome. Yeah. And we did like one year, uh, I was one year working with Cash, more or less, okay. with, for uh, his project. The, mm -hmm. He's traveling around uh, Germany? Yeah, luxury hostels around right. Europe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Filming around Europe. Yeah, he wrote a book about the luxury yeah. hostels of Europe. Now it's the filmed? second edition. Uh, it's the world uh, luxury hostels. While doing that trip, I met uh, Melvin from Travel Dudes, and we are now working yeah. for Travel Dudes. And Travel yeah. Dudes is one of my partners as well, and yeah. I think you've seen a few videos where I've worked with Travel Dudes. If you haven't, I will link them just up there. Um, but that is uh, the reason that we're here together in Costa Brava. Yeah, so. and now nowadays it's basically the only thing that I do. 
Mm -hmm. I only work for travel dudes because it's easier uh, that you don't burn out yourselves. So I can be more creative for, for what I do um, and even put more spectacular videos for awesome. the clients and for the partners. Cool. So let's uh, jump into like an example of your work. So what would you want to share with, uh, with these guys uh, to show what you've done uh, recently? I would have to say the first video that I did for uh, Travel Dudes. It was for, it's, it's for, it was for a campaign uh, in Blogville in Bologna, in Emilia Romagna region in Italy. All right, let's jump into that video. Here is an example of Rui's work. Emilia Romagna is an extraordinary region in Italy because it is in a kind of synthesis of all different uh, influences and histories that Italy can tell. But at the same time, uh, everything uh, uh, is focused on the living of the people, on the food, on the drink places to see and things to do, the many activities that Emilia-Romagna region offers. That was amazing, man. Really, really cool to show them some of the, the yeah. stuff that you've done and that that's a tipping point in like uh, the changing of your career and focusing on the story and why the story is important. Yeah. You hear all the time across YouTube. I think it's really um, something to sort of nail home. If you have even a GoPro, but you can tell a story of waking up, you know, making coffee, enjoying the coffee, watching sunrise, whatever, it's gotta have that flow to it. It doesn't matter how you capture it necessarily, but if you can be able to bring the viewer in and share that emotion, that's so powerful. So yeah. you don't wanna lose that. Now, okay, so we've got your history, we got an example of your work. Um, tell me like how you go about the, the story process. Like do you build a, a storyboard or when you're uh, yeah, on campaign, on assignment, what's going through your mind as a travel videographer? Whoa, that's hard. The, <laughs> the, yeah, I'm very lazy. I don't do storyboards. Um, I only tr uh, I try to get the maximum information from the client. Sure. So what he wants to sell, uh, basically on this campaigns, this type of campaigns, and then you can try to just. I have a cool idea to do uh, on the editing or even on camera, like mm -hmm. a, a really cool effect, and I just put for each day or a, a, which activity it is, and just try to sp spread those ideas around those activities or those days mm -hmm. and then I'll try just to build the stories with the presenters or with with things whatever uh, the subject whatever is. it is yeah, yeah I understand so one tip that I throw to to your guys I, I challenge you guys just watch videos and try to understand how they made the, the videos because doing that you you can create the you sign to create like the the process in your mind and when when you're shooting it's gonna be easier like it's gonna be the drilling in shots gonna be running through your veins and then you go okay I'm gonna do this because you will remember the videos that you just saw I really run myself while shooting on those yeah and just drilling in and just go with the flow yeah okay I like it. That's all really good stuff. I'm going to change the topic a little bit here yeah. because I think that a lot of people watching YouTube especially, they expect uh, creators to have like a huge subscriber base or be um, popular on Instagram or you need like a social following to be able to get paid to make travel videos and I think that my history is a good example that it, it isn't. I mean I have a, a small yeah. following on Instagram and, and here on YouTube which is great and helps get work but I've been making videos for years and uh, you know it wasn't important how popular you were to get work so I, I know I follow you on a couple of social platforms yeah. but you know could you give any advice to people who maybe are like us that have really small following uh, that are still looking to get work I don't give a shit. <laughs> Damn. I don't give a shit. it's true I'm gonna have to bleep those out it's gonna yeah <laughs> but the thing is I don't want to stress myself by building my own Instagram, building my own 
Facebook from the company, it's 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 really bad. It's really bad. I have, even for the company, I put put on my Instagram account, but even it's not that big. Mm -hmm. I really don't care because I don't want to cut my pr creative process. I can put my focus on other stuff that's more important than social media. Sure. Because the clients will come. Mm -hmm. Like if you produce a really good video, the clients will come. Something to be proud they, of. They are going to just believe in your work. Awesome. So that is that a bit of a, a short interview with another professional travel videographer, which is really cool for me because it's not every day that I get to, uh, to hang out and work with somebody uh, with the caliber of, of Rui and to hear that like, creative mindset yeah. is fantastic. That's exactly why I wanted to sit down and do this interview. So, uh, muito obrigado. <laughs> Nada. <laughs> Nada. Muito obrigado, obrigado. Awesome. Uh, thank Be you. sure to uh, check out his stuff. I will link Rui's, uh, well, I can't do your social profiles, but it's some links you to his work it, yeah. <laughs> in the description below. And as always, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you guys like it, and we will see you on the next one.